give the heading capital budgeting another big chapter but relatively a very light chapter not so concept based as these chapters what happened no i'll come and do later okay linter model na nama after i'll do it okay let's start with the capital budgeting now can i go see now please usually you sleep in morning why you are talking now please <laughs> திடீர்னு மூச்சுக்கிற பேசுற ஓகே நான் லிசன் டோன்ட் டாக் பிளீஸ் ஐ எம் வெயிட்டிங் ஃபார் யூ டு செட்டில் டவுன் சி அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தட் ஐ கேன் கீப் ஆன் டாக்கிங் will be something which is completed i have to pause and go for the next change over time will be that does it mean that change over time is a break given to you you also want to get moved into the next chapter okay so don't talk and disturb the momentum can i start or not now please if you maintain the total silence i'll proceed this is not right please now we are moving to the next chapter understand that you are not allow me to speak even a sentence fully i will stop my lecture if this continues you should give me a guarantee that it will be uninterrupted please and these are all wasted time all this become what idle time it may add up to one or two hours towards the end of the batch that we may not be able to complete one or two issues i think we are following up now understand that portions for me it is very big how many chapters are having in the workbook read and not and the difficulty for me is is not like any other subject where you already have some background where it is continued further most of the things are very new to you and something also deals with mathematics or statistics everything have to teach from the basic till what the ultimate level it becomes a very difficult task it becomes more difficult if you are not focusing in the class i am saying two things again again you can enjoy the lectures only when you do two things number one you are very focused and silent in the class listening word by word then you can follow the lectures can be really enjoyed you understand the nuances are intricate discuss on each and every topic i can say like that number 2 you should be revising and coming you should be what revising and coming because i cannot revise every time everything we have discussed in the classroom when you revise and come the momentum gets continued and links can be easily understood recollection becomes very simple understood revision only gives you clarity in a classroom if you understood 50% the balance of 50% can be understood only by calmly sitting at home and what revising it these two you should be doing it consistently again again i am saying and whether you revise or not is not in my hand but in classroom at least silence should be fully maintained can i put it or not now i don't want to waste this time in giving advice once again i am not here to give advice kada ba i used to i am not rajagopalanda swami ji giving what the advice and all i am here to take financial management complete portions for your examination right up now so let us have the role definition i am here to talk and here to what listen so it should not be reverse i should not be listening you should not be what the talking 
then the purpose will not be served. Can I proceed? No. Please. Therapy repeat Panama. I am going to start the chapter. Capital budgeting. How many times I said the auction money? Can I proceed? No. See. This chapter again is a fairly long chapter or a big chapter. I have divided that chapter into three segments. You can just see in the workbook itself, page number 40. I divided that chapter into three segments. First segment, we call it as capital budgeting concepts. Second segment, it is leasing problems. And third segment is capital budgeting under uncertainty. These are the three segments in which I have just conveniently divided the chapter. Okay. Now, in IPCC, we should have done problems in the capital budgeting chapter where we will be learning how to calculate ARR, net present value, IRR, PEI, EAB, EAC, modified NPV, modified IRR, multiple IRR. Like there are so many issues would have been dealt in what the IPC level itself in the capital budgeting techniques, right or not? We also would have done lot of problems where the old mission should be replaced by new mission. So replace or not decision, make or buy decision or new product should be introduced or not. So can I you know, say start a new product in backward area like that. So many problems are discussed in what IPC level where we estimate cash flows, initial cash flows, operating cash flows, terminal cash flows, discounted, calculate NPV, NPV positive, accept, negative, reject, like that you have done some problems in the IPC level or not? Yes, All those routine types of problems will not be touching at the final level in the classroom because you have so much portion to cover like derivatives and other areas. So those routine areas which you should be preparing on your own, I have not dealt with those types of problems nor I am going to teach you the calculation of IRR, NPV, etc. Even though IRR has been already thought by me in what? Bond valuation and other chapters. I am not going to discuss about the basics in capital budgeting, nor I am going to discuss about cash flow estimation and NPV calculation. All those areas will not be touching in the classroom at final discussion. Can I proceed? But I don't say that those will not be asked in the examination. Those can also be asked in the examination. You have a number of problems of that type in the study material where you have to calculate cash flows. We have say, the PBDT, minus tax, uh, minus depreciation, PBT, minus tax, PAT, add depreciation. Like there are so many adjustments we will be doing, uh, we will be having detailed working notes and so on. Those types of problems I am not going to touch in the final level classroom. But those types of problem, I don't say it may not be asked, it may also be what asked that you have to do on your own from the study material or practice material, etc. For that, we will not be having the discussion or support in the classroom because there is no validation in discussing except for doing lot of numerical calculations and doing it. That's all. Everybody follow or not? So, how we are going to deal in final level is you have a different focus. You have what? Different focus. First of all, in segment 1, we say there is some capital budgeting concepts. Okay. In that, the following areas we will try to cover. Sensitivity analysis, forex and capital budgeting, that is IFM and capital budgeting, where the interest rate parity, purchasing power parity and all will be linked with something called as Fisher's effect. Then capital rationing, some unique problems, replacement cycle, a life disparity concept already done in what? One of the previous class. Abandonment also has been done in the previous class. Then timing disparity, long term fund approach versus equity approach, base case NPV and adjusted NPV, inflation and capital budgeting. This is all the small, small topics we'll be covering in the first segment called as capital budgeting concepts. Some of them or most of them you may not have learned in the IPCC level. So advanced issues or some uh, unique areas in capital budgeting a uh, group in this first segment called as what? Capital budgeting concepts. Everybody can I proceed up? Now. Second segment 
deals with a transaction called as lease. Okay. How lease problem should be done? From lessor's angle and from lessee's angle. We will be doing in the segment 2 which is a very very repeatedly or regularly or segment in the examination. Segment 3 we bring risk into the picture. Capital budgeting and uncertainty. May we discuss the following concept. Risk adjusted discounted approach. Certainty equivalent approach. Normal distribution and capital budgeting. Simulation. Decision trees. Real options. And then what? Hiller's model. All these areas will be covering in the segment called as capital budgeting under uncertainty. In this real options, we will be doing at this stage only a simple straightforward real option problems but while doing that chapter derivatives while doing derivatives in the option chapter we'll see really how the oil reserve or say a brand etc can be valued using real options using black scholes model risk neutralization model etc in the later stages which will be continued in the derivative segment this is capital budgeting without derivatives with derivatives we'll be discussing later after completion of the options and futures so this is all the areas I am going to cover in this chapter, capital budgeting. First I will complete leasing, next I will complete what? Uncertainty. These two are mostly asked in the final level, 90% of the problems in the final either comes from leasing or what? Uncertainty. And sometimes problem can even come from the first segment, but the IPCC type problem has now become a rarity for past four years I can say now four attempt was four years such types of problem have never been what asked what is covered in the start our workbook itself is generally covering most of the examination problem in the capital budgeting itself the focus is now getting shifted everybody following up now so now for another three classes we'll be doing this chapter called as leasing we'll start with the leasing in a very simple fashion at the end, there are a lot of issues like discounted selection, etc. will be discussed towards the end of the leasing chapter. When I complete this leasing chapter, I will be giving you a chart. That chart will be helping you to answer most of the leasing questions regarding the discounted selection. Okay, now today we will be starting with this area called as leasing. Let us have a brief introduction and try to at least cover substantially number of problems in the lessor's point of view in today's class. Okay, now. Okay. Before I start with the lease, let us recap EMI discussion. We discuss about EMI. In which chapter? May learn by respond. Which chapter we have bond devaluation? We we'll discuss about annuity bond. I discuss about EMI or not. So now we are going to let us revisit that EMI. No need to copy, should not copy. Already has been what? Copied by you. Let us revisit EMI because lease rentals are generally similar to EMIs. Hence, I want you to refresh that before you start with the lease introduction. Can I or not? Now let's once again go and understand the concept of EMI. See, it was a very simple issue. I went to a bank and asked for a loan of 1 lakh. I went to a bank and asked for a loan of 1 lakh. The interest rate the bank is charging me or going to charge me is 10%. The loan is for a period of 3 years. I want to pay it in equal installment. So the installment suppose say is annual. I am going to pay in what? Equal annual installments. Now the question is what should be my installment amount every year? Can I say 1 lakh divided by 3 I should pay annually 33,333 rupees. Am I right or wrong? Why I am wrong? Because it recovers only principal. 
I should pay such an installment where it requires principal as well as what? Interest. And the installment also should be what? Equal. That is what we call as the EMI, Equated Monetary Installments. What the formula for EMI we had here? Loan amount divided by annuity factor for 10% 3 years. We calculated the EMI as 1 lakh divided by 2.4868 is 40,000 to 11 for some EMI. Respond is so no. Every year I paid to the bank, how much rupees? 40,000 to 11. For how many years? 3 years. So it is going to require my 1 lakh principal as well as what? Interest on the outstanding principal. We have this table. This table is going to be very much used in the lessee problem. Can I proceed? So how we can exercise segregated the principal and interest as follows. First, year 1, what are the principal? 1 lakh. How much, how much interest? 10%, 10,000. I gave the bank at the end of the first year, how much rupees? 40,211. Of which, how much gone for the interest? 10,000. What they adjust for the principal? 13,211. At the end of the first year, still 1 lakh principal outstanding, it has reduced, reduced. The principal amount has become how much? 69,789. Understood or not? No. Year 2, how much is the opening balance? 69,789. How much is interest? 10%. 6,978. And what is the principal amount? 4211 I pay. They took how much for interest? 6,978. What they adjusted for principal? 33,233. 69,789 adjusted 33,233. What the closing principal? 36,557. Third year, the principal is 36,557. What is the interest here? 3657 or 56. What is the amount paid? 4211. 3656 goes out. What adjust towards principal? 36,555. The closing balance is 0. 2 rupees is due to rounding off. Everybody respond. You all remember or not? Yes or no? That means. When I pay 4211, 4211, 4211 to the bank, the bank recovers its investment how much rupees? 1 lakh. And also earns what? 10% interest on the outstanding balance. Or it earns an IRR of 10%. Everybody, are they have the clarity or not? So this is regarding a loan transaction. Everybody falling on a... Can I pose it? No. Let us once again understand the EMI formula. Tell me. Here... Cash flow, present value factor at 10% discounted cash flow. I am once again making understand the concept of EMI. First year, second year, third year, how much I pay to the bank? X rupees, X rupees, X rupees. That's what I have to pay, so no. Now, the present value factor is 0.9091. 0 0.7513 it is 0 0.9091x 0 0.8264x 0 0.7513x the total is how much 2.4868x yes or no this is the discounted inflow is yes or no the discounted inflow should be equal to what? Discounted outflow. For me to call this 10 percent as return or IRR, yes or no? In that case, what is it here? 2.4868x. I equated to how much investment? 1 lakh. So for the bank, the EMI is 40,211. So we calculated the EMI. Respond, yes or no? So EMI gives the bank the discounted inflow is equal to discounted outflow at the required rate of return. Now with this we close the discussion regarding the EMI. Everybody have the clarity or not? Yes, Respond yes or no? Yes, Can I proceed? Now let's go for the introduction to the concept called as leasing. Okay. Lease is a transaction between two parties. Lease is a transaction between two parties, lessor and then lessee. The lessor gives the lessee the right to use an asset. The transaction is giving a right to use an asset. So the lessor gives the lessee a right to use an asset. For this, the lessee pays a consideration, which we call it as lease rentals. 
they should, should be all, already aware of even in IPCC red and order. So what is leasing a, a transaction between lessor and lessee where the lessor gives the lessee the right to use an asset for which the lessee gives a consideration which is called as what? Lease rental. Can I push it or not? No. We all should also be knowing that broadly we classify a lease into two types. What two types of lease? Financial lease and then what? Operating lease. In a financial lease, the substantial risk as well as what reward of the asset is passed on to the lessee. That is, the lessee person who is taking the asset on lease, for him the substantial risk and reward is getting what? Passed on. Operating lease, the risk and reward substantially lies only with what? The lessor will not be passed on to the lessee. Okay, this is a very technical way of understanding it. How generally standards also what define a financial lease and operating lease. I'll just tell you in a very commonsensical way how to understand both the leases. Can I proceed? Now, very simple. If I take an asset on lease, if I take what? An asset on lease, where the lease period covers almost the substantial life of the asset. An asset life is 10 years. Yeah, I take a lease for what? Seven years, eight years are what? Nine years. The lease covers what? The substantial economic life of the asset. I don't say the actual life. I say what life? Economic life. The word economic life is because an asset may be working fine. The product may become obsolete in two or three years time. Yes or no? Cell phone may have even five years life. Yeah, but people use it only for what? One or two years. New model come, they become obsolete. Are you following what I'm saying? So when I say life, I mean what life? Yeah, economic life. So when a lease period covers almost the economic life of an asset, then the lease can be called as what? Financial lease. If the lease is only for a short term period, we call it as what? The operating lease is a simple way of understanding the lease. Are you following what I'm saying? Another way of understanding is. In financial lease, you receive lease rental. Lesser receives what? Lease rental. If you discount the lease rental, if the present value is almost 90% of the cost of the asset, you can call it as what lease? Financial lease. If it is not so, it can be called as what? An operating lease. It is only a thumb rule. Everybody, are you following what I am saying? That is, is the lease rental recovering almost what? The cost of the asset means, it is called as what lease? Financial lease. If it is not, it can be called as what? An yeah, operating lease. Respond, yes or no. And the first definition is much more appropriate. The substantial what? Risk and reward is passed on to the lessee in case of financial lease. That is understandable. That is going to be what? Understandable. I'll just get, give an example. What can be risk of taking asset on lease? I take an asset on financial lease. Take an what lease here? Yeah? Financial lease. Asset life is, economic life is, suppose, seven years. How many years here? Yeah? Seven years. I take the lease for how many years? Seven years. In that case, what happens is, there is a risk always in financial lease. The risk is, I take the machine on lease, the machine can produce a particular product, okay. I believe that the product will be relevant in the market for another seven years, okay. In the fourth year, the product becomes what? Absolutely, a new product comes into the market. I cannot cancel lease. I have taken the machine on lease for what? Seven years. Hoping that the product life will be what? Uh, seven years. The machine may work for seven years, not an issue. But the, the product becomes what? Absolute in what? Uh, fourth year, fifth year now. The remaining two years lease rental is going to be non valued for me. Are you following what I am saying? Uh, there is a risk the lessee bears. Yes or no? But had I taken the asset on what? Operating lease year by year, when the product becomes obsolete, next day I can stop taking the lease. Are you following what I am saying? Uh, so there is a risk associated with what? Uh, a financial risk where the machines. Uh, what I say, productivity is fully transferred to what? Uh, lessee and he is going to be what I say, responsible for the observations or not of the entire mission. Are you following what I am saying? Is one of the example I give for what uh, the risk gets passed on to the lessee. It also includes maintenance, everything should be done by the lessee in case of the financial lease and lessor takes care in the operating lease is a classification of lease. Everybody following or not? Uh, so now, two points have been discussed now. Point number one is, what is a lease transaction agreement between lessor and lessee? Where what lessor does? Give the lessee a right to use an asset. Then what lessee gives? He gives a consideration called as lease rental. 
this least transaction can be broadly classified into two types. Namely what? Financial lease and then what? Operating, Operating lease. Financial lease, the substantial discount reward gets passed on. We can say it is almost covering the economic life of the asset or the present value of lease and will almost occur what? 90% of the value of the asset. It is not so far as operating lease or the two point which has been discussed till now. Can I push it or not? No. See, in accounts, this is going to be more elaborately discussed. The, the main focus is on how to report the lease transaction as an off balance sheet item or into the balance sheet and how to pass journal entries, how to segregate amounts into what uh, principal portion, interest, all this will be discussed in what uh, accountancy, more on reporting will be seeing that. Here, it will be much more simpler. It is not so difficult, it is going to be much more simpler. We here concentrate on decision making area, concentrate on the decision making area whether should I go for lease or not or should I give lease or not. So less or less he has to make decisions for a transaction order. So in the financial management subject, we will not be dealing with the accounting or balance sheet angle. We will be dealing with what a decision making angle about the leases. It is all about lease decision making. We will be discussing in our subject. Everybody following on the, and this is not going to be as complicated as what we discuss in the accountancy. Fairly a straightforward and simple discussion. Can I go to the next stage or not? No. See, let us see overall what is that we will be discussing in this chapter, lease, and then go into the problem segment. Fairly a little bit long introduction. I will take around 15 minutes to complete this introduction and then go for the problems and solution. Okay. Now, any business requires asset to do the business. Any company requires what? Asset. A company has identified asset. It said, this missionary I should have. It is going to be a good mission. It will be giving me your profits and so on. So a company has identified an asset it requires. Okay. I want to have this missionary. It may be worth something around 80 crore rupees. How much rupees here? Yeah? 80 crore rupees. It is an entire plant set up. It requires how many crores here? Yeah? 80 crores. A very high tech equipment. It requires investment of how much? 80 crores in that particular missionary. Yes or no? So it is wanting an asset now. What? How much rupees? 80 crores. Now. This company has got two options. It has got how many options? Two options. Now, it requires asset. It has got two options. One is it can borrow money from the bank and buy the asset. Get back. So I want to purchase an asset. What, how many crores? 80 crores. What I can do? And apply for a loan with the bank and the bank may give me the loan and then I can go and purchase the asset. So one option is borrow money and purchase asset is one option, yes or no? Borrow and buy option, everybody yes or no? Other option is borrow the asset itself. Instead of borrowing money and buying what? Asset. You go and borrow what? Asset itself is the other option, yes or no? So the borrowing asset only I call as what? Uh, lease. I'm calling as what? Uh, lease. In our subject, the word lease, I always mean what lease? Financial lease in our subject, you know, long term decision making, right or not? So, one option is borrow money and then purchase asset. And the second option is what? Borrow the asset itself are the two options which are available for the company to get the asset. Yes or no? So, our decision is not whether to have the asset or not. We are going to surely have what? Asset. The only option is how to have that asset. Should I borrow money, own the asset, or can I what? Borrow asset itself is going to be the decision. Yes or no? Which should be made here? Borrow and buy or borrow asset itself? Whichever is cheapest that should be chosen. Yes or no? We have to choose whichever is going to be the cheapest source of financing. Are you fine or not? Now, very simple. When I borrow money and buy the asset, let us see what are all the cash flows which are associated. What are the cash flows which are going to be associated? Now, since I borrow the money, I have to repay the loan, say loan to the bank. Yes or no? How will we pay the loan? Pay of what? Uh, EMIs. I want to pay what? EMIs to the bank. It's coming two portions. One is what? I have to pay what? I have to pay principal. I have to pay what? Interest. I have to pay, I have to pay what? Interest. 
Now, I say interest, I mean what? Interest after tax. If I pay interest and debit that interest in the PL account, make some tax savings. So, the word interest means interest after tax. These are the two payments I have to make when I borrow the money and buy the asset. Yes or no? No. This is an inflow or outflow? Um, outflow. This is an inflow or outflow? Um, outflow. Yes or no? Apart from that, now I am the owner of the asset or not? Since I am the owner of the asset, I can claim tax shield and depreciation. Yes or no? Since I borrowed money and buying the asset, I am the owner of the asset. As the owner of the asset, can I debit depreciation in every SP in account or not? Yes. When depreciation gets debited, it is a non-cash item, but still, it is having a potency to save what? Tax or we. So there is an advantage here. What is that here? Tax savings on depreciation is an advantage. Yes or no? Apart from that, I am the owner of the asset or not? If I am the owner of the asset, what I can do? I can sell the asset at the end of the economic life for some salvage value. Yes or no? So I'll also be having what? The salvage value after tax. When, whenever I sell something, there's going to be a gain or loss on sale. On this tax has to be paid or what I sale. You know, I'm going to have what? Salvage value after tax. Tell me these two numbers, are outflow or inflow? Um, inflow. This is also what? Inflow. So this is the cash flow I'm going to have when you go for a borrow and buy option. Everybody has saw no. So when you borrow money from the bank and buy the asset, what all the cash flows I'm going to have? One is what? Principal payment. Another is what? Interest payment. Both are paid to what? Bank. Since I'm the one of the asset, I can claim what? Depreciation tax savings. I can also claim what? Uh, the salvage value after tax or all the cash flows. Now, don't tell. Sir, the asset will give me sales. I have to spend for what? Material, labor, ORS for what? Producing, etc. That's common for both borrowed by as well as what? Uh, lease. Any amount which I get from using the asset is different. It's common for what? Both. I'm only saying uh, what is unique for this and what is unique for the other option. Everybody following an order. So this is a cash flow. I'm going to have when what? When I what? Borrow and buy the asset. Can I proceed? Now, other option is what? Take the asset on lease. When the asset is taken on lease, the ownership lies with the lessor. Right yeah. Who is the lessor? Who gives the asset on lease? When I take the asset on lease, the ownership lies with the lessor. Okay. Now, Income Tax Act has changed where depreciation in case of financial lease is now given in the hands of what? Lessee only. So, early it was one from the hands of lessor. Now, it is clear that Income Tax Act, so I am the lessor, you are the lessee. I buy an asset, give it on what? Lease. You take the asset on lease. I am the owner, you are the user. Who should claim depreciation? You only will claim as per the current income tax provision. Yes or no? But in all our problems, okay, don't ask why. Exam Institute continues. Hence, in all our problems, we will understand that depreciation will be claimed only by what? Lesser and will not be claimed by the lessee. This is an assumption on which we will be doing all the sums. Just to control the examination also, this portion has not changed. Are you following what I am saying? So, you have to follow the same thing. How to get the marks in the examination, right or not? So, don't show tax knowledge or not in the answer sheet. It only show the calculations. That. Now, tell me, in all our financial management problems, we are now still in what? Olden days, where depreciation tax savings, who claims the benefit? Less are. And not what? The less see. Now, if I take the asset on lease, I pay lease rental. I pay what? Lease rental. Lease rental can be debited in PL account or not? Yes. So I say lease rental after tax. I don't have depreciation tax savings, nor I'll be having what? Salvage value after tax. Why? Because I'm not the owner. The other party is what? Owner. In that case, the cash flow for me is what? Lease rental after tax. So, I have two options, borrow and buy or what? Lease. Borrow and buy, four cash flows are there, namely what? The principal, interest, depreciation, tax savings and salvage value after tax. If I take the asset on lease, the only cash flow is what? Lease rental after tax. You find out the present value of these cash flows and present value of what? Other cash flow. Whichever is what? Uh, lowest. That should be the option I should be selecting as a lessee. Everybody, are you fine or not? Uh, this is how lessee problems will be looking like. In all lessee problems in leasing chapter, the question will be, should I go for lease or should I go for what? Borrowing option. So I have to write the cash flows for board and see whichever is cheaper and the decision should be made is the first segment introduction. Everybody, following or not? Uh, so this discussion I'm making from whose angle? 
lessee angle. I'm making most angle here, lessee's angle. So this decision is an investment of financing decision. Okay, now asset is already identified. It is not an investment. How to finance that asset? Whether through borrowing or through what? Leasing. For them, it is mainly a financing decision or a liability side decision or a cost of capital decision. It is not about the asset investment from the lessee's angle. This is one way of understanding the lease. Everybody, are you having the clarity or not? No. Let me conclude the discussion by the lesser angle and then go for the problems and solution. Notes I am not going to dictate. I will give you the printed notes for this in the next class along with some more extra say materials. Can I proceed? So this leasing introduction alone I am not going to dictate now because very simple no need to spend time on writing the notes. I will give the notes in the next class. Can I proceed? Now one more angle to be discussed. What is that yeah? Lesser angle. Now see. What is the business of Infosys? Tell me. IT. It is what the, the IT. It is not. So, what is the business Ranbaxy does here? It is going to be what the pharma. What is the business of MT education? Education. Okay. It is education service. Okay, now please. For question get on. Answer straight away, not with side comments. Can I proceed now? Always try to answer straight. Can you see now? Next. Like that, there are companies whose main business is higher purchase and leasing. Business is what? Higher purchase and then what? Leasing. The business is done only with this as an objective class in the memorandum of association. Everybody follow you not? Now, some examples in India, you have heard about Sri Ram transports or not? It is uh, the topmost uh, leasing company. Sri Ram Transport is that. We have Sundaram Finance, which engages in what? Uh, leasing, M&M Finance, and so on. These are all the companies whose main business is what? Uh, leasing and higher purchase. Main business is what? Leasing and higher purchase. I don't differentiate between the two transactions very much in our discussion. The main business is leasing. Can I be sure or not? No. What they do is they receive application from the customer or client. Suppose I'm an industrial house. I want a particular mission of a particular specification. Okay. I make an application to the company, Sundram Finance, saying that this is the requirement for me, this is a specification. I want this mission on what? Lease. What they will do is they will invest in that asset. They will invest what? In that asset. They purchase asset and give it to you on what uh, the lease basis. Okay. Their main business is buying the asset and giving it to you on what uh, lease. Instead of bank giving loan, they give the loan as what a asset. Suppose I want to simply buy a lorry. I want to buy what a lorry. I can go to the bank, apply for a vehicle loan, that is a loan, and then buy the lorry. Yes or no? Or other way is what? I can go to what? Sundram Finance, make a loan application, and I require a lorry. They don't give the amount. They give what a lorry itself. Are you following what I'm saying? For the bank, I pay the EMIs. For Sundar Manas, I want the lease rentals. Both are equally substitutable. Everybody follow what I am saying? So for the lesser, the business is investing in the asset and giving you to one what the lease is the main business of the lesser. Respond. Are you following or not? No. If you look at the cash flow for the lesser, it looks as follows. Here, cash flow. Year zero, the lesser, the Sundram finance will be having an inflow, outflow, or outflow. It has to buy the asset or not. So it is going to want invest some money. It is going to have an outflow in year zero. Yes or no? And what happens is future year. Suppose lease is for five years or six years. So one to five years, they will be receiving what? Lease rental. These are inflows, outflows, and inflow. Rumpa simple, yeah? Now. Normally, a business invest in asset, use the asset to earn profit. I purchase a missionary, use the missionary to earn what the profit is normal business or no? For leasing company business is I purchase asset, allow another person to use it and make the profit. I am what I'm saying. I am not doing that business which asset is related to. Yeah? I buy a lorry. 
So Sundaram Finance data will not drive lorry to make water income. Yeah, he does not run a fleet of lorries. He buy lorry, give it on water, lease, make another person what earn, and he earns income through what the lease rental. So instead of using the asset and earning it, he is going to want to let the asset out and then what earn the income. He is what the leasing is all about. Everybody is so no. How? I invest in asset, use asset and earn an income or not. I will invest in asset only when the NPV is positive. When I will invest in asset, only the NPV is what? Positive. NPV negative means what? I will not be investing. Everybody following what I am saying? Like that. Here also, there is a lease rental. There is a cost of what? Investment. Only when the NPV is positive, the lease can be entered into. So no, otherwise the company say it is not an attractive transaction. They will not go for the leasing agreement. Everybody following not? So for the lesser, this is a financing decision or an investment decision. Investment is as good as a capital budgeting decision. Everybody following or not? No. But unlike in normal projects where I make an investment today, I'll be estimating what? Inflows later. The estimating inflows is not in my hand. Yes or no? But for the lesser, he only fixes a lease rental. He only fixes what? Lease rental. The inflow is fixed by him. The inflow is what? Fixed by him. The question is, please fix the lease rental for lesser. Always lesser problem is, please fix what? Lease rental for lesser so that he gets his desired return. So he gets his what? Eh? Desired return. Suppose lesser feels that for this lease transaction, he wants 14% return. How much percent return? 14% return. How 14%? How required return here? Yeah. It depends on the risk of the person to whom the lease is given. Yes or no? If I give an auto loan, there is a loan for say automobiles, the risk may be what? Much more higher or lower. I give it for what? Industrial loan, it may be what? Higher or lower. Every client is having a different risk profile or not. Based on risk profile, I say for this lease, I want a 14% return. For this lease, I want what? A 12% return. It all depends on the risk of the customer and the risk of the asset that is being leased. Everybody following order. In that case, I will be having a target or not. Now, the lease rental should be fixed in such such a way that my IRR is 14 percent. Yes, the lease should be fixed in such a way that what? The IRR of lease rental should be what? 14 percent. That's how the lease rental should be fixed. The question will be always to fix a lease rental for a lesser problem. Everybody following or not? Yes, Let's consult it. Lesser is a person who is going to buy the asset and give it on lease. For him that lease decision is what decision? Investment decision. He wants to know how much he should charge as what? Lease rental. How much lease and you should charge should be depending on what the discounted he wants or the return he wants. For the EMI transaction, bank wanted a 10% interest. So it fixed what as an EMI? 40,211. If the bank wants a 12% interest, what should be the EMI? Let's say it is going to be something more than that and so on. So the lease rental should be fixed, keeping in mind the required rate of return. This required rate of return in turn depends on what? The risk of the person to whom the lease is given, or the risk of the asset that has been leased. Everybody following or not? No. So, I should fix the lease rental X. I should fix what? Lease rental X in such a way that the discounted lease rental should be equal to what? The amount invested in the year 0. Everybody, yes or no? So, the discounted lease rental will be equal to what? Amount invested means. Then that percentage is called as what? IRR. Is return the lesser is earning. Everybody, are you following or not? Now, the question is, sir, what should be the amount that should be recovered by the lease rental? Kadaba. Lease rental should require some amount or not? What amount should be recovered by the lease rental? Is the last discussion can I say no amount to be recovered amount to be recovered okay then lease rental should recover the cost of asset the discounted lease rental should recover what cost of the asset so the first item is what the amount to be recovered should be what cost of asset I invest 80 crores and buy the asset and give it on lease. Now, the lease owner should recover the 80 crores or not? I should recover the cost of asset. But the lesser enjoys a depreciation tax savings. Really, who is should be enjoying? Lessee. In all our sums, we assume lesser is going to what? Enjoy. What does he is? He is going to reduce tax savings on what? Depreciation. Present value of tax savings on depreciation should be what? Reduced because he passes on the tax savings as benefit to what? Uh, let's see, by reducing the lease rental, everybody follow what I am saying? Uh, so, minus tax savings on depreciation. Now, he is going to have a salvage value of the asset or not. So, he is going to pass on that benefit also to what? Let's see. You know, for all practical purpose, the risk and reward should belong to a lessee only. Right or not? In that case, minus what? The 
salvage value after tax okay the net amount is the amount i should be recovering from the lessee what should be recovered from the lessee yeah, i should recover the full cost of asset yes or no if i recover the cost of asset i should give him the credit for the salvage value from the asset yes or no so the cost of asset should be recovered minus what the present value of salvage value also i enjoy depreciation but he is only really using the asset right or not in the case the depreciation will be passed on to what the, the lessee only i pass on through the tax savings or depreciation this amount should be recovered through fixation of what the lease rental the discounted lease rental should be equal to what amount recoverable at the given rate then only the lease Central giving me the desired IRR is what we discuss on the lessor's angle. Everybody following? Huh? If I can learn free, I am. By my, are you following? Anna, those who want me to repeat, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Yeah, hand raised, huh? not raised. Huh? Okay, okay. Now, so this is regarding lease. I'll consolidate. At the stage, I also repeat it. Then we can just go for the problems and solution. All this, what I have discussed now, will be given to you as notes in the next class. Okay, now, listen here. First of all, lease is a transaction between two parties, namely what? Lessor and then what? Lessee. Lessor gives lessee right to use the asset and lessee pays lessor lease rental. Lease can be of two types, financial and operating lease. In financial lease, the substantial risk and reward gets passed on almost 90 percent of the asset value gets recovered through the lease rentals and uh, it is going for a longer period of time almost the economic life of the asset op op operating is going to be an opposite next step. leasing from a lessee point of view is an investment or the financing decision financing decision lessee requires an asset for his business he has got two options borrow money buy the asset other option is borrow the asset itself if he borrows money and buy the asset, then he has to repay the borrowing along with the interest or not. He is going to have a principal payment. He is going to have what? Interest payment. He is also going to enjoy tax savings because being owner of the asset. Also going to enjoy what? Salvage value after tax. In case of lease option, he is going to pay lease rental after tax. Both case, whichever is having the lowest outflow, that should be selected. This is from lessee's angle, the decision being a financing decision. Come to the lesser angle. For lesser, the business is buying an asset and giving it on lease. So it is going to be what decision? Investment decision. He invests some money today to buy the asset and he receives money from the asset through what? Lease rentals. The question in lesser angle will be always please fix the lease rental for the lesser so that he can get 14 percent return or 15 percent return he'll fix his target return and ask you to ask you to fix the lease rental so the lease rental should be fixed in such a way that the discounted lease rental should recover the amount required by the lesser then what is that amount that should be recovered by the lease rental it is a cost of asset finance minus present value of depreciation tax saving minus present value of salvage value after tax is what one should be recovering from the lease okay and this is from the lessor's angle now tell me loan better uh, lease better uh, for lessee you know i ask a question in loan lease rental similar to emi kadaba similar to what emi emi comprises of principal and then what interest but in loan option, I additionally get depreciation tax saving, salvage value. I don't get a lease option. So loan is better. True or false? false. Because while fixing lease and delay, I given credit to want a salvage value as well as depreciation tax savings. Everybody yes or no? Because when I fix the lease and delay, amount recoverable from what? Lessee. I given credit to want the depreciation tax savings and then what? The salvage value so generally lease rental will be somewhat lesser than what uh, the emis because the lesser gives you credit for what uh, the salvage value as well as depression after tax so constitutionally speaking both are going to have what uh, the same advantage and disadvantage only but both are two different markets what are two different what markets because this is a financial market and that is going to be an asset market everybody has or no in that case two different markets always one can be cheaper than another it all depends on the relative business competition yes or no hence sometimes loan may be cheaper sometimes what lease may be cheaper it depends on the facts of the case and the numbers to be worked out everybody following not with this we complete the introduction to this concept called as leasing can I start doing the problems in this regard or not now 
will be first to doing the problem from Lessard's angle and then will be doing the problem from the Lessie's angle. Lessard angle problem is generally easy, Lessie only. The discount rate to be used for discounting the cash flows is a very tricky issue. Above all, we'll be discussing elaborately at the end of the leasing session. Can I start or not? Now, let's start doing problems from the Lessard's angle. Okay. Notes. No only AC is switched on, yeah? You have to switch on the AC, yeah? Yes, yes. Page 52, question number 19. Page 52, question number 19. Please. We should try to complete. Now it is 8.20. Before the class, 19. 20 and 21. We should try to complete today. Other than target, right? Fast, please. Can I start or not? Now we'll do it together. Can I proceed? Now, please. All problems which we are going to do now are on what problem? Lessard problem. You know the question already. What is the question? Fix the least rental. Lessard wants some return. For the return, fix the least rental. Yes or no? How to fix the least rental? The discounted least rental should be equal to what? Amount recoverable. Not worth taking class. See. Yesterday also, Soumyans also said here. Yeah. Now, the noise is becoming more, the concentration is slowly reducing. Please, have focus. You are sitting for 2 hours 45 minutes in a class, right or not? At that time, concentrate fully, that gives you the maximum benefit. Please, don't be indifferent. You are talking when you ask a question, nobody answers. No vibrancy, yeah. there is no vibrancy in the class. Tell me, should I continue or can I stop now? Shall I proceed? Yes, sir. Are you able to understand what I am discussing? Yes, sir. What angle I am discussing? Yes, sir. What is the question? Yes, Fixation of what? Uh, lease rental. Can I say take free? Uh? No. The lease rental should be fixed in such a way that my IRR should be the target return. Yes or no? Yes, now, how to fix lease rental? Discounted lease rental should be equal to what? Amount recoverable from the lessee. Yes or no? The lessee gives me lease rental. If I discount all the lease rental, it will be equal to amount recoverable from lessee. Yes or no? Yes, if I discount the EMI equal to loan amount, yeah, correct? When I discount EMIs of the bank, what I'll get here? I get the loan amount, right or not? Like that. If I discount the lease rental, I'll be I should be getting what? Amount recoverable from the lessee. What lesser should recover from the lessee? Tell me the calculation. What is the amount recoverable from the lessee? Tell me. Yeah. Cost of the asset finance, I should recover. I give credit of two items. What is that? Term? Tax savings on depreciation and tax savings on salvage value. Always, I mean, present value because everything is done in today's terms. Respond. Are you following or not? Idambak issue. Can we start? Let's start with question number 19. Following data are furnished by the hypothetical leasing limiter. Investment cost 500 lakhs. Primary lease term 5 years. Estimated residual value after primary period nil. Pre-tax required rate of return 24%. As a lesser, I want how much return from the lease transaction? 24%. That means the discounted lease rental at how much percent? 24% should be equal to the cost of asset finance. Enough for it or not? No. Next. The HLL seeks your help 
in determining the annual lease rentals under the following rental structures. Equator stepped up at an annual increase of 15%, ballooned annual rental of 80 lakhs for 1 to 4 years and deferred 2 years deferment period. You are required to come with the relevant annual rentals is a question. The question asked if it's the annual lease rent under the following methods. Everybody, can we start or not? No. First, before we fix the lease rental, first step is to find out how much should I recover from the lessee. Amount recoverable from the lessee should be found out first. Yes or no? Tell me the formula. Cost of asset finance. In this case, what is the cost of asset finance? 500 lakh. As a lesser, I have to invest 500 lakhs by the certain given lease. Yes or no? What is the cost of asset finance? 500 lakh. Now, minus. Is there any tax savings and depreciation? No. Because the question does not have any tax. So no tax, no tax savings. Leave it. The second point will be not that. Is there any salvage value? No. In that case, 500 lakhs is the amount recoverable from the lessee. Yes or no? The least rental, if I discounted how much percent? 24 percent. Should give me 500 lakhs today. Yes or no? Like that, how to fix the least rental? Can I proceed further or not? No. See. I'll do first on the sheet one calculation to set the momentum for the remaining parts of the solution. Can I proceed? Now, they have asked you to fix what? Lease rental. Can you tell me the question number? 19. Okay. Now, here cash flow PV factored 1 percent, 24 percent discounted cash flow. Why I discounted 24%? That is a return I want. Respond. Yes or no? No. Next. How many years lease? Years. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I am first is equated. Different year, different lease rental. Same lease rental. Same lease rental. So year 1 I am going to charge X. I am going to receive X. X, X and X. 5 years I am going to receive X to pay as what? Lease rental. 1 divided by 1.24, I want a discount rate. What idea? 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.8065. 0.8065 is equal to 0. 0.6. 1 6.1. 6.604 is equal to 1% in a point. 5.2. Is equal to four two point four two three zero. Next three four one one. Discount of cash flow is obviously point eight zero six five x point six five zero four x point five two four five x point four two three zero x Point three four one one x. Am I right or not? No. If I total, can I total this five x? No. I can total this. No. What is the number here? Two point seven. Two point seven four five five. Yeah. Some number here. Two point seven four five five x. Leave it. Two point seven four five four x. Can I answer or not? No. Other than you are not telling answer, you are disturbing me. Can I answer or not? No, please. Now, this is the discounted lease rental. I can call 24% as IRR. Only if the discounted info will be equal to what? Discounted outflow. This is the amount recovered from the lessee. So, no. How much I recover here? 500 lakh. So, I can say. 2.7455x is equal to how many lakhs here? 500 lakhs. X is equal to what? 500 divided by 2.7455. That gives you a number. Leave it. Please. Shh. Yes or no? This is going to be the least rental. Can I say it? To put it simply, like loan amount divided by annuity factor, I have what? Uh, the amount recoverable divided by what? Annuity factor at 24 percent, 5 years. Simply 500 lakhs is the amount recoverable divided by what? 2.745 is nothing but what? Total of PE factor as annuity factor gives you the least rental is the first option. Everybody, are you comfortable or not? No. I'll continue to do the problem. Can we start or not? No. Please. Okay. 
Shall I start now? The first way in which they want to fix the least rental is using what method? Equated method. Okay. What are the amount finance? 500 lakhs. What are the term? 5 years. Residential value is nil. Pre tax required rate of return is 24%. Can we start or not? Now. Let's write together. Write question number 19. Facts. Finish coming up. Shall I proceed? Write yeah. down. Amount recoverable from lessee is Amount recoverable from lessee is Put a colon right below that one by one. Cost of asset financed is equal to amount recoverable from lessee is put a hyphen and write below that one by one. Cost of asset finance is equal to how many lakhs? 500 lakhs. Cost of asset finance is equal to 500 lakhs minus minus what? Tax savings on depreciation. Minus tax savings on depreciation. What is the depreciation and tax saving? Zero. My tax savings and depreciation zero. Minus. Minus what? Salvage value after tax. Minus salvage value after tax. That is also zero. Right. Amount recoverable. Netted off. What is the amount? 500 lakhs. Amount recoverable. 500 lakhs. Amount recoverable 500 lakhs. Shall we proceed or not? No. Write down first. Part A. We have been asked to fix least rental in four methods now. We are starting with the part A. What is part A? Equated lease rental. Here we assume that lease rental is paid at the end of the year, not at the beginning of the year. Annuity is the year end annuity, not the year beginning annuity. We will be doing some problem later where it is going to be at the beginning. Okay. Equate and lease rental assume in arrears. Assume in arrears. Being the first problem we will do in both the ways. Okay. Now, let lease rental be. Do along with me. Let lease rental be X. Let lease rental be X. Let lease rental be X. For the lesser to earn, continue, for the lesser to earn, an IRR of 24%, for the lesser to earn, an IRR of 24%, for the lesser to earn, an IRR of 24%, the discounted lease rental should be equal to, for the lesser to earn, an IRR of 24%, the discounted lease rental should be equal to, fill the blanks, how many lakhs? 500 lakhs. The discounted lease rental should be equal to 500 lakhs. 500 lakhs. Have the following columns, year cash flow, year cash flow, PV factor at 24%, discounted cash flow, year cash flow, PV factor at 24%, and discounted cash flow. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. What is it the lesser will be getting a lease rental? How much is going to get? X, 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 X and X. 
x rupees for 5 years. Present value factor 0 0.8065, 0 0.6504, 0 0.5245, 0 0.4230, 0 0.3411, 8065-6504, 5245, 4230, and then 0.3411. Discounted cash flow is the P factor into cash flow. 0.8065x, 0.6504x, 0.5245x, 0.4230x, 0.3411x. Can tell me the total, what the total? 2.7454x. Total is 2.7454x. 2.7454x is equal to 500 lakhs. Then only you can call it as IRR. Yes or no? 2.7455x is equal to 500. X is equal to 500 divided by 2.7455. 500 divided by 2.7455. Tell me how many lakhs here? 182.12 lakhs. X is equal to 182.12 lakhs. X is equal to 182.12 lakhs. Every year I should ask how much lease rental? 182.12 lakhs. That gives me IRR of 24%. Respond is or no? Now write down alternatively. Alternatively, lease rental is equal to alternatively, right? Lease rental is equal to Amount recoverable divided by, can I fill up the blanks? Lease rental is equal to amount recoverable divided by what? Annuity factor 5 years, 24%. Amount recoverable by annuity factor 5 years, 24,000. 500 divided by 2.7455. 500 divided by 2.7455 is equal to 182.12 lakh is equal to 182.12 lakhs, 182.12 lakhs. Everybody, or I have the clarity or not, this is the first method, called as what method? Equator. Now, second question is, in second case, will I pay the lease rental equally, eh? or I am going to have a step up, step down. They said, every year, let the lease rental grow by how much percent? 15 percent. Like that, they want to fix a lease rental. That's point. Are you following or not? Now, Leasing transaction is sometimes better than loan because we can structure the lease payment as per our requirement. Are you following or not? In a bank loan, loan will be standardized product, but lease, I can say, initial years, my business may be stagnant. I may grow over what? Years. I expect a 15% growth in my business, so let the lend also grow by what? 15%. Let's make it that way I can negotiate. Yes or no? In that case, how to fix the lease rental? Now, I don't part B, stepped up lease rental. Part B, stepped up lease rental. Stepped up lease rental. Okay. Let's do it together. Here, cash flow, present value factor at 24% discounted cash flow. Here, cash flow, present value factor at 24% and discounted cash flow. Can I start or not? Now, year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Year 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 5. Answer my question. First year suppose I am going to collect X rupees lease rental. Lease rental of year, how much rupees here? Yeah? X rupees. Second year rental will be X less than X or more than X. <laughs> How much percent more? 15% more. Tell me what is second lease rental? 1.15x. In the last problem, I had x, 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 all 5 years what? Same. You want to be what? x growing at 15%, like dividend growth model, yes or no? The x, next year is going to be 1.15x. Third year is going to be 1.15 into what? 1.15. How much going to be third year lease rental? 1.3225x. Third year lease rental is 1.3225x. 
Four three is one more fifteen percent higher. One point three two two five into what? Fifteen percent. Tell me the number. One point five two zero five two zero eight x. That grows further at what? Fifteen percent into one point one five. What are the number here? One point seven four nine zero x. One point seven four nine zero x. So all here same least rental, different least rental, different least rental as follows. Can I just say? Discount this at what percent? 24. What is so great about 24? That's the return I want. That is my IRR. Right or not? Now, 1 divided by 1.24, 0 0.8065 is equal to 0 0.6504 is equal to 0.5245 is equal to 4.230 is equal to 3411. 4230 is equal to 3411. Multiply. Discounted cash flow 0.8065x. Can tell me the second? You are not copy. Yeah? Do it. 6504 into 1.15. I want a number. What is the number? 0.7480x. 0.7480x. 1.3225 into 0.5245. What is the number? 0.6937x. 0.6937x. 1.5208 into 0.4230 will be giving me how much rupees? 0.6433x. 0.6433x. 1.7490 into 0.3411. Answer. 0.5966x. 0.596 x. My question is, can I add x plus 1.15 plus 1.3225 until the total? No. Why can't I add my second column? Time value of money is different. Can I add the last column? Yes. Tell me what is the total discounted least number one? 3.4881 x. 3.4881 x. 3.4881 x. This is the discounted least rental. Am I right or not? This should be equal to what? 500 lakhs. Now write down. Lease rental is equal to lease rental is equal to 500 divided by 3.4881. Lease rental is equal to 500 divided by 3.4881. Lease rental is equal to 500 divided by 3.4881. Tell me what is lease rental? 143.34. Lease rental is 143.34. This is a lease rental for all the five years. Huh? First, year. First year. Second, it should be what? 15% more. That should be what? Much more 15% and so on. Can I pause it? No. Let's conclude. Lease rental, year, lease rent. This part is not at over. Year and then lease rent. Year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Year 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Year 1, how much are you going to charge as least when? 143.34. I am going to collect 143.34 as my least when. Year 2 will be same number, more, more. Into 1.15. Into 1.15. Gives you how much? 164.84. 164.84. That further grows at what? 15. Into 1. Into 1.15. What is the number here? 189.57. 189.57. That into 1.15. What is the number? 218. It will be 218. That into 1.15. The last year, what is the standard? It is going to be 250.07. 250.07. To 250.75. To 250.75. Now, can I proceed or not? Listen. First case. I am charging how much lease rental? 182.12. Enough on number. Part A question was the lease rental here. 182.12. First year 182.12. Second year 182.12. Third year, fourth year, fifth year. All the five years. Same 182.12. I call as lease rental. Yes or no? In this case, how much I receive? 143, 164, and so on. Can I proceed or not? Tell me what is the common thing between both these rental structures? Both you and me, the same 24 percent return. Both lease rental. Whether I charge 142 point what? 
182 by 12 for all the 5 years or I charge what? 143, 164, 189 and so on for what? 5 years. In both case, if I find out the IRR, I will be earning how much percent? 24 percent. The rate of return is going to be same in both the cases. Everybody respond. Are you following us? Yes, yes or no? Yes, okay, now third. Third is what? Ballooned lease rental. Okay, please. What happens is, the lessee says, I will pay 80, 80, 80, 80 for 4 years. How many years? Yeah, 4 years. I will pay 80, 80, 80, 80 for 4 years. In 5th year, I will pay the balance. Now, we pay a nominal lease rental of 80 for how many years? 4 years. And whatever required to get 24 percent, we are paying in what? 5th uh, year. He is what we call as a ballooned payment. Everybody, are you following what I am saying? Uh, that is, initially a small and one bulk payment in what? Last year. So, when you have a balloon, uh, it will be small and becomes big at the end. Yes or no? It suddenly what? Uh, inflates. It suddenly what? Inflates. Or what? Uh, becomes big. Yeah. Then call as what? Uh, balloon release payment. Can I proceed or not? No. I just said uh, what came to my mind. Can I proceed? Yeah. No Oxford Dictionary definition of for this. Can I say? No. Yes. Don't. Paka there. Yeah. 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 Don't watch like a movie. Do along with me. We have two more sums to complete. Please. Here. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay. Five will come back to that later. Yeah. Here. One, two, three, four. Please. Shh. Present value factor at 24%. Percent. Tell me the factors. 0.8065. 0 0.8065, 6504, 0.5245, 4230. 8065, 6504, 5245, 4230. Can I proceed? Now, lease rental is already fixed for the first two four. What lease rental? 80, 80, 80, and 80. 80, 80, 80, and it is obvious an annuity. Right or not? Now. Lease rental at present value terms. You can also call as discounted lease rental. Both are same. Discounted lease rental. Discounted lease rental. Please depreciate your calculator. Use it. <laughs> Don't lose it. Can I proceed? 80 into point is so many calculators lying there. Okay, MTA can do calculator auction. Okay, now point eight zero six five into eighty sixty four point five two sixty four point five two. Please. 0.6504 into 80, it is how much? 52.03. 0 0.5245 into 80, gives you how much? 41.96. 0 0.4230 into 80 gives you 33.84. 33.84. Can you add all the 8 and say 320 recovered up? No. Those are all in different time periods. So, I have only the discounted lease rental for the total 192.35. Total is 192.35. 192.35. Okay. Now, can I proceed? <coughs> Tell me, what is the amount recoverable? 500 lakhs. In as how much is recovered through first four years? 192.35. That means the balance, tell me, don't write anything. 500 minus what? 192.35. Is it how much it is here? 307.65. 50th year lease rental should be 307.65. True or false? False. The discounted lease rental of 50th year should be what? 307.65. Yes or no? This is also present value. This is also what? Present value. In present value term, the 50th year rent should be how much? 307.65. Yes or no? Now, tell me, discounted cash flow is equal to what? Cash flow into present value factor. Yes or no? I want a discounted lease rental of 307.65. I am going to charge a lease rental of LR. Into I want a present value factor. And how many years? 5 years. How many percent? 24 percent. Tell me what is the number here? 0.3? 0.34. 0.34. Lease rental should be what? 307.65 divided by what? 0.3411 gives you the 50 year lease rental. That's point. Yes or no? If you want to just tell me the lease rental also. Lease rental is equal to how much? 9 naught? 1 point? 9 3 yeah? 9 naught 1 point? 9 3. Very simple. 
fifth year when I charge or when I receive a lease and love 901.93, its present value today will be how much? 307.65 along with 192.35. I've been recovering what? The full cost of the asset. Everybody, yes or no? So the lease rental should be 80, 80, 80, 80. Balloon, how much? 901.35 is how I should be recovering my lease rental based on balloon lease payment. Everybody, are you have the clarity? Um, no. Let's continue writing. I think you shall copy it up to 192.35. Right or not? No. Please continue further. Discounted lease rental to be recovered in fifth year. I did not use the word lease rental. I use the word what? Discounted lease rental. Discounted lease rental to be recovered in fifth year is equal to discounted lease rental to be recovered in fifth year is equal to 500 minus 192.35. 500 minus 192.35, which is equal to 307.65. 307.65. Discounted lease rental is equal to, by the formula, discounted lease rental is equal to, what into what? Lease rental into present value factor. Discounted lease rental is equal to, lease rental into present value factor, bracket la, what percent? 24 percent. How many years? 5 years. Lease rental PV factor, 24 percent, 5 years. Lease rental into present value factor, 24 percent, 5 years. Can you proceed or not? No. Substitute the numbers here. Lease rental is equal to 307 discounted lease rental divided by PV factor. Lease rental is equal to lease rental is equal to discounted lease rental divided by PV factor. Just formula rearrange. Is 307.65 divided by 0 0.3411. 307.65 divided by 0 0.3411. By 0 0.3411. Tell me the number. 901.93. 901.93. Lease rental is 901.93. Everybody, can I proceed or not? No. Or approximately 902 lakhs. Okay. Now, answer my question. Everybody, part A, how much lease rental I am charging? Tell me, what is part A lease I am charging here? 182.12. First year, 182.12. Second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year. All the five years I charge 182.12 in first part. Yes or no? Yes, Second part, I start with 142 point something. Yes or no? It grows at what? 15 percent I charge the least rental. Yes or no? In third case, 80, 80, 80, 80 and then what? 9 or 2. Can you tell me what is the common in all the three lentils? All the three will earn for the lesser a return of 24 percent. The cash flow structure may change but the IRR is going to be same in all the three. All the three will give him how much return? 24 percent return. Everybody are you following or not? No. The last method is what? Differ. What the lessee says is that don't ask me any rent for the first two years or three years. Don't ask me any rent for the first two years. Ask me rent for what? The balance three years, which we call as a deferred rental. Yes or no? Yes, okay, for the next step, part D, deferred payment. Part D, deferred payment. Part D, deferred payment. I'll do it in the sheet. Let's do it together. Tell me the columns. What are all the columns here? Here. Cash flow, PV factor at how much percent? 24 percent undiscounted cash flow. Undiscounted cash flow. Can we proceed or not? Now, tell me year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Any cash in first year? No. Second year? No. Third year? X. X. And then X. So I get X, X and X in third year, fourth year and fifth year. And nothing in first and second year. Okay. PV factor for first year not required. Second also is what? Not required. Tell me what the factor for the third year. Tell me the number here. Point. Five two four five. Point five two four five. Next is how much? Point four two three zero. Next is what? 0.3411. Now, 
discount of cash flow dash dash next is what 0.5245x 0.4230x 0.3411x if i total i get the discounted lease rental is equal to how much it is what the number here 1.2886 1.2886x can i push it or not no this should be equal to what 500 lakhs right on 1.2886x is equal to 500 lakhs x it is nothing but what lease rental is equal to 500 lakhs divided by 1.2886 can tell me lease rental amount here 388.02 lakhs 388.02 lakhs the lessee should pay in the third year fourth year fifth year how much lease rental 388.02 lakhs this also gives you what the same IRR response is on whom now if you remember time value of money properly what is this 1.2888 somebody can tell me what is that yeah it is an annuity factor, mid annuity factor, yes or no? I have an annuity between what? 3 to 5 years. How to find an annuity factor for 3 to 5 years? 5 years annuity factor minus 2 year annuity factor gives you what? Mid annuity factor. Like that also, this can be done. Everybody following what I am saying? I don't alternatively. I don't alternatively. Don't shout here. Alternatively. Alternatively. The lease rental is a mid annuity between 3 to 5 years. Alternatively, the lease rental is a mid annuity between 3 to 5 years. The lease rental is mid annuity between 3 to 5 years. Mid annuity between 3 to 5 years. Can I proceed? Right on. Mid annuity factor 3 to 5 years is equal to mid annuity factor 3 to 5 years is equal to annuity factor 5 years minus annuity factor 2 years. Annuity factor 5 years minus annuity factor 2 years. You should tell me 1 divided by 1.24, 24% discount rate no, is equal to 5 times plus grand total. What is the annuity factor for 5 years? 2.7454 minus 1 divided by 1.24 is equal to 2 times grand total. What is the annuity factor for 2 years? What is the if I find that divided by getting how much here? 1.2886. 1.2886. Lease rental is equal to, lease rental is equal to amount recoverable divided by annuity factor. Lease rental is equal to amount recoverable divided by annuity factor. 500 lakhs divided by 1.2886. 500 lakhs divided by 1.2886 is equal to how much? 388.02 lakhs. 388.02 lakhs is a least rental. Everybody, are you having the clarity or not? Today I have lock class, huh? no lock. Okay, now. So all this you keep in mind. We have to extend this later sometime. Can I proceed? Okay. Can we do one more summer? No. Okay. We'll continue in the next class. We'll continue with the lesser problems in the next class.